Hey guys, welcome to the fifth C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change the property of a control using code. So basically what we're going to be doing first is just changing the text of our button to Adam whenever the user clicks on it. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is get the name of our button. And to do that, you're just going to want to select your button and then go over to the properties panel. And it just says button 1 right there. So anytime that we want to access our button using code, we're going to have to type out button 1. Alright, so now that we know the name of our button, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so we want to change the text of our button. So first we just have to type out the name of our button, which is button 1. So we're just going to type button 1. And we want to change the text of our button. So we're just going to type dot and then text. Right in IntelliSense right here, it just says text. And right next to it, there's a little picture of a guy pointing to like a pad or whatever. And that image right there, that icon, just represents a property. So we know that this text right here is a property. All right, and we're just going to want to hit enter so we don't have to type out the rest of text. And to find out what we have to set it equal to or what value type um, text represents, you're just going to want to hover your mouse over the property, which is text right there. And as you can see, it just says string. So we know that we have to set it equal to a string. So we're just going to do an equal sign, and to represent a string in C-sharp, you're just going to want to do two quotes. And then inside of here, whatever you want your button's text to be. So I want my button's text to say Adam, so I'm just going to type Adam right there. And of course, we have to end the line with a semicolon. Alright, so basically what's going to happen when we click the button is the button's text is just going to change to Adam. And that's because we accessed our button, which is button 1, and then we change the text property, so we did dot text, and then we set it equal to Adam. And the current text of the button doesn't matter, so if the text of the button said button 1, it's just going to overwrite that and change the text to Adam. Alright, so let's just debug right here and see what happens. So when we click this button, the button's text should change to Adam. Yep, it just says Adam right there. And you can change any property that you want of the button. So if we wanted to disable our button, we can just do dot enabled and set this equal to either true or false. And we know that we have to set it equal to a bool because it says right there, bool. So we have to set it equal to either true or false since it's a bool. So we're just going to do equals and then false. And we're going to do false so that it will disable our button. And disabling a control basically means that you won't be able to interact with it. It'll just gray out and you can't use it anymore. Alright, so let's just debug and make sure that this works. So again, when we click this button, it should just disable it. And that's because we accessed our button by the button name, so button 1 for a button. And then we change the enabled property to false. And we know that we have to set it equal to a bool, because right there in IntelliSense, it says bool. Alright, so let's just see if this worked. Yep, when we click the button, it just disabled it. We can't click on it anymore. It's all grayed out. Perfect. And you can just go through IntelliSense and just try this yourself. So just do dot and then use your arrow keys to move up and down. And let's just scroll through here and see what comes up. You can change, I guess, the height of it. And we know height is a property because um, there's a little guy pointing to a pad. So, oops, let's do dot um, height again. And we have to set it equal to an integer because it says int right there. So this is a number. We have to set it equal to a number. So if we just hit enter right there and set equal, now we just have to change the height of this to something else. And I'm just going to make the height of this 60. And since it's an integer, we're just going to type out 60. All right. So we accessed our button again. We changed the height property. And since the height is an integer, we have to set it equal to a number. So we just set it equal to 60. All right. So when we click the button, it should change the height of the control to 60. Yep, it just made it taller. Perfect. And you can change the properties of any control, not just the button. So if we wanted to change a text box's text or something like that, we could go ahead and do that. So we're just going to go over to the toolbox and drag a text box over to our form. And we're just going to change the text box's text to Adam. So whenever the user clicks on the button, we're just going to change the text box's text to Adam. So we're going to say text box 1 for our text box. And again, to get the name of your text box, you're just going to want to select your text box and go over to the properties panel and look and see what it says up there. It says text box 1. So we know that we have to type out text box 1 anytime that we want to access this text box. So we just do text box 1 and we want to change the text of it. So we're just going to do dot text. 
and set that equal to whatever text we want to appear in our text box. I'm just going to make it say Adam. So whenever the user clicks on the button, the text in this text box will be set equal to Adam, no matter what it is beforehand. So if it's set equal to nothing currently and we click the button, it's equal to Adam now. If we just type random stuff in there and click the button, it's still going to say Adam when we click the button. Yep, perfect. And just like with the button, you can go through and change any control of the text box you want. So do dot and just scroll through here with our arrow keys. We can change any property that we want. Um, I'm just going to change the maximum length. And the maximum length property basically, well, it says right there, gets or sets the maximum number of characters the user can type or paste into the text box. So if we just set the max length equal to two, then the user can only type two characters inside of the message box. And the reason I know that I have to set it equal to a number is if I just hover over this right there, it says int. So that means I have to set it equal to a number. All right, so let's just debug and see what happens. If I just type in the text box right now, I can type as much as I want. But if I go ahead and click this button and try to type more than two characters, it won't let me. I can only type two. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on changing properties of controls uh, using code. So see you guys.